We just got the latest information on Hurricane Laura and the maximum sustained winds have been increased a little bit. It's still a category four hurricane, but very close to category five strength. Max sustained winds now up to 150 miles per hour. Category five would just be 157, 158 miles per hour. So very close to that. This is a big major hurricane. Already some gusts to 175 near the center of that storm. Projected pass still takes it onshore right along the Texas Louisiana line late tonight around 1 a.m. Give or take a little time there and with it 150 mile per hour winds, maybe some higher gusts as well. Then right up the Sabine River on the state line dissipating to a tropical storm strength by midday on Thursday. So this is going to have big impacts not just along the coast, but up and down far east Texas and far western Louisiana. All right, let's talk about forecasted wind gusts and we go through time here. You get to about the midnight hour already well over 100 miles per hour in Sabine Pass, Lake Charles, nearly 80 miles per hour. 2 a.m. We're talking 130 miles per hour or more from Sabine Pass to Lake Charles, Beaumont area about 70 miles per hour. But you notice Houston and Galveston unaffected by the highest winds of this storm. They're far removed from that. But even once this is inland, 4 a.m., Kirbyville in far east Texas, 105 mile per hour winds and even higher than that. And so this will take some time to dissipate as it heads northward. And one of the big factors here is the storm surge. You get on the east side of that storm and that's where the highest storm surge is because that's where the winds are pushing the water on shore. So we could be talking a 15 to 20 foot storm surge where that comes ashore and especially just to the right of that center line. For us around San Antonio, just a few isolated showers tonight and tomorrow afternoon, but actually tomorrow those isolated showers would be unrelated to Laura. We'll have another update as new information comes in.